Stoats are one of Britain's most difficult mammals to see, despite being found all over the country. If you're lucky enough to glimpse one, it's often just a flash. So when I heard of a chance to have a close encounter with these pint-sized predators, I knew it was an opportunity too good to miss. Martin Hayward Smith is a wildlife cameraman, and when a rescued stoat literally turned up on his doorstep, he seized a unique chance. This young female had its back tail nipped off by a cat, so it was brought in like that. And you're the go-to guy for any wildlife in Norfolk. Oh, it's amazing what you get. Many a time I come home and there's cardboard boxes in the porch and I never know what I'm going to open up. Martin already had a male stoat in residence, so he soon found he had a family on his hands. These were then born in March, ten youngsters, all about yay big, but out of the ten, she reared three at the end of the day. Martin decided to keep the kits until they were old enough to be released and took advantage of his new lodges by building them a den and rigging it with cameras. He's been able to film the kits from the very first days of their lives. They don't open their eyes for at least a month and these didn't venture outside until they were eight weeks old. The kits are now 15 weeks old and as big as their mum. Basically, they're boisterous teenagers full of energy, so it's the perfect time to film them. Martin can get close enough to film the adaptations that make them such impressive animals without letting them become tame. A couple of hollow logs the stoats have never seen before are instantly investigated. And that's the way they find food in the wild. They're endlessly curious. We're filming the stoats at 150 frames a second, which means we can slow down their movement six times. I had no idea just an old log could be so much fun. <laughs> Martin, they're packed with muscle and sinew. They're so supple. They're like nature's gymnasts. They are amazing. They are just like free runners. They really are. The movements, the shapes they go up and down, the way they can curl round, practically turn on a sixpence. They're absolutely brilliant. It's this incredible agility that gives them the edge when hunting. A stoke can take down a rabbit ten times its own size. But Martin's not just filming his stoats. He's readying them for release back to the wild and needs to make sure they've got the right skills to survive. One of the things they're certainly going to need to know how to handle are eggs. Packed with protein, a clutch of bird's eggs would make a nutritious meal for a hungry stoat, but they're not the easiest dinner to deal with. Unbelievable! I have never seen anything like that in my entire life. Look at that close control. David Beckham, eat your heart out. What a dribbler. Being able to move eggs around like this means stoats can stash food in a hidden larder and save it for a rainy day. And every move the mother stoat makes is watched closely by the kids. It's all a good learning curve for the youngsters. But there's one more skill they're learning at this training camp, which is really quite surprising. I don't usually associate stoats with water, but they're actually great swimmers. Stoatily amazing, if you pardon the pun. It's their torpedo shape and big paddle-like feet that make them so handy in water. In the wild, stoats have been known to swim over a kilometre, but these little fellas have got to start somewhere. I have to say they're my new favourite animal. I can't ever remember having been so captivated by one mammal. They're just brilliant. Martin has followed these kits through every stage of their upbringing and helped teach them the ways of the stoat. You must have got quite attached to these guys. It's going to be hard to say goodbye. It is going to be hard. And it does bring a little bit of a lump to your throat, it does. It's the right thing to do. It is, just to let them run wild. And just a week later, it was time for Martin to say goodbye. He's been able to capture stunning footage of stoats at every stage of their lives and I've had the privilege of peeping into their world too.